welcome to a new video. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to add a custom domain on Vercel. I already have a video up on my channel and it's a very popular video. You can see it has 72K um, views and almost a thousand likes. So this video is super popular and that's why I'm making an updated version of the same video. However, there's one thing. I received a comment a couple of weeks ago saying that things have changed and Vercel, uh, they've changed things, right? So now it's not the same process that you followed before. Here it's the comment, the domain ad steps are not the same now. You have an updated video. And I checked and yes, things have changed. So I'm gonna show you how to add a custom domain over cell for 2025 and the updated way, okay? Should be simple, should be the same thing. And let's dive right into that, okay? Okay, so first thing, you need to have a domain. So whether you have a domain on Namecheap, you have a domain on GoDaddy or any other uh, platform that offers domains or domain register, you can, um, you can start doing this, okay? So have a domain ready. I already have my domain. It's called adimagesai.com and I'll go to manage domain and here you'll see all of this and you can manage all of the settings for that domain, okay? So that's one thing. And now what we wanna do is we wanna go to Vercel. So I already have my project deployed on Vercel. I have multiple videos on how to do this. If you want to check them out. And I'm gonna go to my project. In this case, this one here. And I'll go to, you can go here on domains so or you can go on settings and then it will take you to domains anyways. So I'll go to domains, on domains and now it looks like this. So now you have to go to uh, add domain and these are all the domains that I have already registered, but this is a new domain, so add imagesai.com. And as soon as you type it out, then you'll see that all of these will appear here and it'll say re redirect add images to this, I don't want this. So I'll just uncheck that and then I'll click on add domain and then it will get to the same thing that we did before. So this will be like a production, yes, uh, no right, uh, redirect, so save. Okay, so now it doesn't give us the option to actually add just like the name servers as it was before. So now we have to add these records. Okay, so let's do that. Let's go to the domain uh, site and then go to advanced DNS. Okay, and then this is where you add the new records. At least this is for name chip. So I'll just say add new record. This is an A record and then the name it's just like that. And the IP address is just this. All right, and let's just add that. Okay, so that's now on Namecheap and this is uh, the change that I made. Let's go to Vercel and let's just click on, uh, we've done this. So we've added the records and then let's just do the refresh. Now we'll just have to wait, I guess. Uh, let's check that it's all good. A record, A, all of this, okay. Host records, usually it takes some time, but it should work either way. Okay, so after I clicked on refresh status, you can see that it's been configured correctly. And let's see what's going on here. So let's go to edit this. Okay, editing project configuration. I also want to add the other domain, the one that's Maybe this will take care of it. So you can see that I already have it here at imagesai.com. It's already working. So it's been added to my project. I'm just curious to know like what happens if I just put www.imagesai.com. So that doesn't work. Okay, so maybe we'll have to add that one as well. So let's see, add domain once again, add imagesai.com. And this will be a redirect to addimages.com. So redirect, no, we don't want this once again. And let's just do this. And yes, we wanna redirect this to addimages.com. And this would be a permanent redirect. Okay, so I, what I've done is I've just added the www.addimagesai.com because, uh, you know, why not? Because we were doing this before, so we should do it now and this will redirect to addimagesai.com without the www, and this will be a permanent, a permanent redirect. Save, 
Okay, and then it says configure the DNS records. Okay, so now we have to go once again to Namecheap and get the C name and www. Okay, uh, this will be like a C name record. We know this is three W's here. And then we'll just do this. Okay, so then just add that. Okay, so now we can come here since we have already added this and just click on I've added my records and once again he will just have to wait okay it's already already detected it so now we're just waiting for the SSL certificate let's refresh the status okay you can see that's been configured correctly let's close it and now we have this which is a redirect so let's just go and try the same thing uh, let me just ai.com and you can see that the redirect works and it goes to addimagesai.com but the domain has been set, the custom domain has been set. So once again, just go to domains, just add a new domain, type your domain, and then you can type your domain and then from there you will have to copy the records that Vercel gives you and then you can uh, paste them here on advanced DNS, at least this is for Namecheap, but usually for GoDaddy and any other uh, domain providers, they have the same thing, the same process. They'll have some, uh, you know, advanced domain settings and then you can just paste the records there. And yep, yeah, that's it. You can see that my project right now, it's going to add imagesai.com and that's a custom domain. The SSL certificate comes with it. Vercel already gives you one, which is pretty cool. And yep, yeah, I think that's it. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, uh, share it with other people and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.